first things first, let's get right into it. The New York Jets right now are making some decisions. And I got to tell you the main conversation, people are like, if Aaron Rodgers is playing, great. If he's not playing, what's going to be the issue? Who are they going to have there? So I got to tell you something. Even though they love, you know, the Jets fans, everyone out there loves Aaron Rodgers. They think he's great. And listen, he was a phenomenal talent. He's played for a long time. He's been great. But every time we talk about Aaron Rodgers, it comes up the injury again, right? Like this Achilles injury, what happened to him on the field, the problems that he had. But right now, the concern is, will Aaron Rodgers actually be on the field all season? And the people are worried. The Jets fans are worried. The organization is worried. So what are they doing? They're searching for a backup quarterback more than most people. Usually you have to have someone on roster. You got to make sure you have your backup. You know, we have a third string quarterback. But the New York Jets really have to find that guy that can step in and be a starting quarterback. So the question is, how does Ryan Tannehill fit in the mold? And let's pull him up, Howard. Ryan Tannehill actually played receiver in college. People don't really know that. Got to the NFL. He only played one year at Texas A&M at the quarterback position. Gets to the NFL, plays for the Dolphins, plays good. I won't say great, but he played pretty good. Then he gets out, goes to the Titans, and the guy was phenomenal at first. People are like, man, Ryan Tannehill is pretty damn good. Was leading the league in certain stats. Was playing great. Um, you know, and it's like your time, you know, the clock ticks, your clock ticks. Ryan Tannehill right now already is ready like 35 years old. So the New York Jets right now, check this out. Pull up, I actually got a reaction here for you. So listen, here's the thing. The New York Jets right now, they're trying to make things you know, like changes. But again, like yesterday, it is so hard to find a quarterback. Aaron Rodgers is 40 years old. People are not understanding that. When I get on here and I talk about the sports cast and the teams, we had all the teams, all the topics. But every team so far we keep talking about is like, Wow, they have another quarterback who's late in his 30s. Aaron Rodgers is 40, right? Joe Flacco, 40, or pushing 40. Like, all these quarterbacks are still around, and they're still good. They're still talented. But the big question is for the New York Jets, will Ryan Tannehill have to be their quarterback for the season? Because I'm not too sure that Jet fans, and I mean this wholeheartedly and sincerely, I like Aaron Rodgers. He's been all over the media and blasted a lot, obviously. And people kept saying, well, you know, he's acting like a head coach and, you know, they're running things through him like he's a GM. He's not a GM. He's a quarterback. Uh, but he's similar age to some of the coaching staff. So it's like the buddy system. And there's not that coach-player relationship. I said that before. And so realistically, I think they're kind of worried. Like, like right now, I got to tell you, the Jets have, if Brian Tannehill comes in, the Jets have like a really old quarterback roster, right? Like they don't want Wilson there. Zach Wilson was in. He was benched. He's back. He's bench. He's just not loved out in New York. I'm sure he was a great guy and he had high hopes. It didn't work out. So Aaron Rodgers right now is back up. They're looking really high on Ryan Tannehill. I got to tell you, without overstepping and going crazy and making some false narrative and coming up with something that doesn't make sense, this could potentially be the New York Jets' future quarterback. And I mean that sincerely. I'm not trying to make it up or come up with, you know, jokes or, you know, memes and things like that. I'm saying this, you know, sincerely. I think... Ryan Tannehill, he's talented. If he shows up and he goes to the Jets, you know, people are like, well, you know, I don't know. Um, he's getting older too. Then he he's, he leaves the Titans and he's another backup quarterback. Ryan Tannehill is not too bad. He wasn't my ultimate selection. But if he goes right now and plays for the New York Jets, I got to tell you something. There's an opportunity for him to be the starter. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going to last all season. I truly don't believe that. I think a couple hits, not just because last season, he's just getting older. 40 years old, you start getting hit, getting banged up. You know, I think Ryan Tannehill comes to the game a little bit. We're going to see here during preseason if Ryan Tannehill signs there. This is still a big if, but they're high on him. If he goes there and he goes through preseason, do not be shocked if you see Ryan Tannehill becoming the future quarterback of the New York Jets. I'm saying it right now, just like I have next conversation, we're going to talk about Saquon Barkley and a few other running backs. I called that, and now Dallas is high on Saquon Barkley. I'm telling you right now, write this down. It is very close. Ryan Tannehill could become the future quarterback of the New York Jets for the long term. Hey guys, thanks for watching and tuning into the Brandon Mason Show. Please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time.